makes a good dispatcher? Well, working as a dispatcher is more than just showing up and taking the few phone calls. Working as a dispatcher is more than just posting trucks and learning the debt. Working as a dispatcher takes a lot of skills and traits. So let's look at this over and over again. And I have been preaching this in my classes. I've been preaching it in my videos. And this is my belief that good dispatchers have to be organized. Organize with your time, with your task. Organize it, meaning prioritizing what are you going to do first. Are you going to give updates first? Or maybe you're going to uh, post trucks which are on, on East Coast. What does uh, being focused mean? Focus means that you know your goals. You need to know that your trucks are profitable. You need to be focused on getting that rate per mile. You need to focus on negotiating. You need to make sure you are not forgetting to check on some details. Being focused during the day. Being focused during the reading the rate confirmation. Paying attention when you do setups. That would mean being focused all the time. Attention to details. How important is this to read rate confirmation few times before you sign? How important is it to give correct information to the driver? Correct address, pickup, delivery. Make sure that specific requirements are met with equipment, with maybe him assisting, or maybe he has to do certain steps. Maybe he needs to check in uh, at certain time. Maybe he needs to do the pallet count. Maybe he needs to do uh, unloading and he has to do other things. So the specifications for the drivers, ability to multitask. You post in the truck, you look in at the map, you dial in the phone number, you answering somebody's call, you looking and monitoring at your email, you also seeing what is your driver doing, what is his HOS hours. It's a lot of multitasking and sometimes it's going to be overwhelming for the new dispatchers, but it's going to take time. Do not give up. Nobody became a pro overnight. No one became a pro after one month. No one who has really been doing a good job as a dispatcher, uh, it did not happen within three months. It usually takes six months to a year to really, to really organize your thoughts, to really relieve all the markets, to negotiate better. High level of, of confidence. Confidence comes from knowledge. Knowing the industry, knowing equipment, knowing the markets, knowing the load to truck ratio, all of that comes from knowledge. When you have strong foundation, your confidence is always here. And when you're confident, that's when you're going to get that extra few hundred dollars for each load. Adaptable adaptable to the situation. We all have a good and bad day. Sometimes we will need to come up with plan A, B, and C. An independent dispatch service, you need to make sure you are communicating with the owner of the company, right? Sometimes you cannot make some decisions besides uh, negotiating the load. Some things you have no uh, rights to decide on behalf of the carrier because you are only dispatch service and you providing booking the loads. Also, you need to make sure that you are compassionate to others, right? And you have emotional self-control. Self-control and being nice to everybody is going to get you uh, better prices. It's going to be easier to find those good uh, brokers. It's going to be easier to deal with the drivers. So make sure you guys pay attention to all of this. On the side. So they're going to load your truck and they're going to scale him, right? Right. What if yes. you have a reefer and you know you cannot scale? So Lorenzo, in this case, we're going to ask, can they cut the way to the legal limit? And they can say they might or no. Receiver needs to put that 45 and a half thousand so that the, in this case, we cannot send the reefer there because we would be wasting our time. He would be rejected due to what? 
not able to scale or they're going to put more product and we are taking liability on driving with overweight, right? Right. So again, is that smart to do? No, it's no, not. No, it isn't. So as a dispatcher, those questions you need to remember by just hearing the commodity. So do we understand why we're doing this homework? Just by commodity, you're like, oh, what in other questions I need to ask, right? So one more time, paper product, water product, you will ask, wait, and if they have the scale on the site. But if you've been listening to me, you're going to pay attention. If we are taking bulk potatoes, first, you already know the calculation. You have no problem with that. But what things we need to pay attention that we need to wash the trailer, right? How easy it is to find a washout facility in Pennsylvania, in New Jersey, in Connecticut, right? In Delaware, in Maryland, it's not that easy. So again, when you hear potatoes in Maine, it, you're going to ask, are they palletized or they are floor loaded? And if they are floor loaded, please, guys, stay away from them because those loads are going to stay on East Coast. You're going to add extra headache, right? So let's keep going. So we also have, hold on, we have a lot of cranberries, right? because of the weather. So if we have cranberries, we have dry cranberries, right? We have cranberry juice. So dry cranberries can go on a dry van. We have cranberry juice, which doesn't have to be refrigerated. For example, also dry when a uh, commodity. If we have frozen cranberries, it's already reefer commodity, right? What if we have uh, cranberry bushes? That's already nursery. Nursery can even go on flatbed, right? So look, yeah. knowing by one product, product, you can see who can haul it, right? And sometimes the same commodity can go on a different trailers in a different type, right? Here we have Massachusetts. The population is 7.3 million. Some of the shippers uh, and receivers are TJ Maxx, Shipco Transport, PBS Distribution, Maple Leaf Distribution, Amazon, American Warehouse, and U.S. Foods. Some markets are syrup, livestock, and greenhouse. Some manufacturers are Kraft Cheese, Boston Scientific. And some produce is cranberries, tolls, yes. Traffic, there's construction, normal traffic jams. And the weather, um, the heaviest peak is in September. And weather is not really a problem most of the year. So we have Vermont, the population is 643,000. So there's not much people there. Some shippers and receivers are Kabat Distribution, Rhino Foods, Hershey Ice Cream, Vermont Commercial Warehouse. Some markets are Greenhouse, Syrup and Livestock. They manufacture GE aircraft engines, PBM Nutritionals, um, produce is apples, sweet corn, and potatoes. They do have tools. They do have road work. And the weather is freezing, snowy winters, and pretty warm summers. Some commodities for a drive-in is like general goods. Reefer would be like apples, potatoes, syrup, and eggs. Um, and flatbeds would be aircraft equipment. The end. Thank you very much for your time. And thank you, Alex, for everything. <laughs> good job. I'm very impressed with you. So good job. That's Thank how you. homework should be done, right? Good example. So we started strong with our uh, first zone, Z0, the spot market. And when yes. the spot market goes for produce or anything, the other trailers are going to go up too, right? Because now reefers, they don't want to take dry load. They only want to take turkey. They want to take Christmas tree. So prices are going to go higher also for other commodities. Look at this because I posted a truck in Washington today. Dispatch. Hi there, ma'am. My name's Zach. I'm calling with Capstone Logistics. How are you doing? I am doing great. How are you, sir? I'm doing pretty well. Um, Ma'am, I have a load that needs to be picked up today in Ontario, Oregon at 2 p.m. and then it's headed to Tolson, Arizona, Monday at noon. Do you guys have anybody to possibly grab that? I have truck in sunny side Washington. And you picking up where? Uh, Ontario, Oregon. 
Well, we are a little bit too far. But yeah, that is, uh, that is a drive right there. Yeah, and where is it going? Uh, to Tulsa, Arizona. What is a commodity? Um, it is going to be carrying food items, no pork, no beef. It is going to weigh 38,000. Um, I believe this needs to be set at negative 10. Yep, negative 10, and right now they want 3,800. 3,800, huh? I yes, know. we're just too far. You need to find somebody in Idaho. Exactly. Hey, uh, totally understandable. But I post the truck in sunny side, Ontario, Oregon. Ray, does it make sense to dad had to Ontario, Oregon? Nope. No, it doesn't. So if we're going to go back to our dad, Look at this. We have 155 loads for today. Highest paying load. Look at this. 10 grand, 10 grand, 10 grand, 89 grand. So what is it indication of? What are we shipping now from Washington? Apples. Apple season started, right? So apples are getting paid even on Saturday, right? Oh, there is a lot of yeah. problems happening. Uh, because of the because of the curves because of the curves it's thin and it's curved so you cannot see and but it's the, really 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 a narrow road very narrow road and you cannot see so a lot of times if you're speeding it's a lot of accidents but the biggest problem starting from october till april you're gonna be dealing with the black ice yep. that's the biggest problem on the road 64 do you want to kill your driver? I don't I don't think so, right? Do you want to take liability? No. Try to stay away. So when you look at the map and you see that the only way to deliver somewhere to this tiny, you know, uh, city in West Virginia, stay away. First of all, for the heavy loads, you're going to be killing your truck. You're going to be using your brakes because of up and down, up and down. So you actually... Those loads are not worth secondary. A lot of drivers without experience, they will get into accidents. Okay. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Can I have zip code for the pickup? Is was it Pasco? Of course. That would be 99301. And delivery? It's 93203. 93203. Correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. And this is a uh, well it can be picked up until 6 p.m but it's ready now and delivers on monday the shipper is the one that uh sets the appointment for delivery okay so when is he gonna uh, set that appointment as soon as they pick up the load they give you an appointment okay but what if the appointment is not gonna be like uh, till wednesday or thursday no it's definitely on monday i'm just talking about the time for for delivery okay and which company are you with super logistics Okay, hold on. May I have your uh, MC, please? Of course, that will be 304 386. 386. And how much are you paying for this? I'm working with 2400. How much would you be looking for? How much? Uh, 24. 24? Are we a uh -huh. Uber? We're not an Uber. We're not a Lyft. We're a trucking company going to California with all the traffic, honey. Come on. Okay, how much were you looking for? <laughs> okay, let me let me check. So I'll put you on a hold for a second. Okay, no problem. Thanks. So what are we gonna do? We did not go to California. We don't really know. This is a reefer, right? So what are we gonna put? Pasco. Let's put like Pasco, Washington, going to Los Angeles area because it's Los Angeles, right? So 28, she's telling us what, 24, 28, it's Saturday. So she's already looking for desperate dispatcher. Secondary, pay attention. Remember, I moved. The Google is going to show you going through here. No, you're not going through there. You need to go to Portland. Secondary, if we're going to go into Portland, Ray, we have to pay for all miles going through the Portland. So it's extra $280. Got out of that, right? So... Dispatch, hello. Yes, honey, I mean, we have to go to the portal and you know that we have to pay all the miles. We are also gonna be traveling to portal and we're going to California. So we have to be at least at 36, 37. 
Um, okay, give me a minute. Let me check if I can get that, okay? Okay, sounds good. Thank you. Thank you for calling. Blue so Ridge. validating your stuff, right? But how can you validate? By knowing this thing. So write it down. We're going through Oregon. You first, you're going to pay attention which which road you're going to take. Google's going to tell you that you're going through the National Park. Well, we're not going through National Park. We have to take the truck roads. Secondary, Oregon. Every truck who travels through Oregon has to pay per each mile extra approximately i can tell you this is probably going to be like 260 dollars to cross through oregon so much for holding uh yeah just check with my manager and our best on those and this one will be 2800 any chance you can run for that no honey sorry thank you bye 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 so look at this she start from what taras what did she start with 24 she already can do 28 right right here it's already so see the honesty if they would say listen we can give you 28 it's already closer to where you should kind of be right but no so do you see the gap they have dispatch hi this is shona with camway transportation uh we're looking for drivers that can help us with a load from stanfield oregon to uh McCarran, nevada okay what is the pickup uh, zip code hun Pickup zip code is nine seven eight seven five. Okay, and uh, zip uh, zip code for delivery eight nine four three seven. Okay, what is the commodity? Pumpkins. Pumpkins. Till what time can we pick up? Uh, today, if you pick up today, the latest would be 6 p.m. It's the first come, first serve, or they'll load you per your ETA. Okay, and uh, when are we going to deliver? Delivery would be at Walmart, in, and that would be, I have an appointment for 11, I'm sorry, 4 a.m. on Monday, but I can change that. You can? I you, believe I can. You I can? Be I don't think you can really change Walmart, special of be today being Saturday. So let's stay realistic. So 4 a.m., that's fine. How much are you paying? I have 2800 I can offer. 2800 And which company you with? Camway Transportation. May I have your zip code? I mean, the your MC. Our what? Your MC number. Oh, let me get that one moment, please. You. Not approved. How do yeah. we get approved? Oh, well, ask your management how they can get approved to work with RTS. RTS? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Ray, what does it mean? Ray, look at this. Okay, hold on. I can get that for you, but I have to ask somebody for it. Oh, you did not, you don't know the MC you're working for? No, I don't. I don't because I usually don't. Uh, I don't have the MC number. No, I don't know that one. Yeah, you should because you know we have to check if we are able to work with you. Yes, I think I, I can have it on our website. Yeah, okay. I can help you with that. Your MC number is 640812. Oh, thank you. Yes, and unfortunately, and unfortunately, we cannot work with you. And what is the reason for? The reason is that you're not approved by our factory. Thank you. Is that important to do this step? It's the most important. The I most think. important. So, Kame, so when you ask, somebody's calling you the broker and you ask for their MC and she has no clue that she even has to have MC. I had another one yesterday. She hand up with me. She's like, I don't have to have MC. I am like, really? Okay. <laughs> what, 2,800, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and of course we can push her. We just cannot even push her because we don't work with them. So now... When you look at this, 2,800 is way better than going all the way because here, look, aren't we going just a just short, short distance in Oregon, right? But what would be the biggest thing to do here now? We're going to Nevada. Do you see any green stuff in Nevada? We're going with the reefer, right? Right, just looking at the map, your question should be, am I gonna put the stones? I'm going to put the military planes there because that's what they have, military, right? So when you look even on the map and you know that it's a reefer, the first question, wow, it's not even green. That means it's no farms there. It's nothing. 
So what would you do? You would tell her, well, let me see for a second what's going on. And what was the city? What did she say we're going to? Sunny, we're going to Sparks, Nevada. Sparks, Nevada. So you would put Sparks, Nevada first while you're talking to her. Let her find the MC, right? Because you need to buy the time. Sparks, Nevada, right? And you're gonna see what are you gonna be doing when Sparks New Water? So you have 89, only 89. Everything else is much deadhead, right? But you have to check the prices first. Look at this. Switzboro, pros and beverages, 10 grand. Wow. Maybe, right? But first you have to check. You can go back to taxes, right? So don't you think that you need to make few phone calls? But what is today? Today is Saturday. Do you really think, Taras, anybody's going to answer for you for Monday from Nevada right now? No, everybody. Uh, desperate, desperate broker like she was. <laughs> yeah, because all the good brokers, they owe teaching classes or they already enjoying their champagne or golf yep. game on Saturday, right? Or playing things. All right. So, but do you guys see that the steps are always going to be the same? Doesn't matter if it's me or you. For me, it's going to be a little bit easier, but you're going to get to that point. Who we answer one more phone call and see how desperate are they on Saturday? Please. Dispatch. Hey, this is Trask with Pittsburgh. How are you doing? Hey, how are you? You're working on Saturday. What's wrong? You lost your truck? No, I, I've worked Tuesday through Saturday. Okay, so what do you have, sir? I got a pickup in Pasco, Washington. Mm -hmm. today by 9 p.m. going to Arvin, California. I was hoping you could help me with. What is a commodity? Uh, it's going to be, it's reefer, uh, it's carrots. Carrots? Load box needed, yeah. Okay, when is it going to be delivering? Delivers Monday, first come, first serve. As soon as you get there, I mean. How heavy is it? As soon as you get there. Uh, it's 43 thousand five hundred pounds okay which company are you with what is your mc what's your mc it's going to be let me give a book five eight six six zero three okay are we set up with you oh well, that's a great question hold on just a moment till nine o'clock right it's palletize how heavy again 43.5. What is the temperature on those carrots? Uh, let's see here. Temperature 36 degrees. 36 degrees. Any driver assist loading or unloading? No. no any lampers? Assist. Any lampers are going to be involved on the delivery? I don't. It should not have any lumpers. It says need Ford load locks. Check in at Fitzmark. Arrive with full tank of gas. They will load the truck to scale. 80,000 pounds gross. All loads need to be ran at 36 degrees, continuous, first come, first serve at the shipper. Delivery appointment time will be set once loaded at the shipper. But you just no told me first delivery. come, first serve. You just contradicted well, the it, information. I, yeah, it's, I'm, it's the fine print that I'm reading now because the, the times that pop up originally just say. Because zero, it's, a zero, big, zero, zero. Yeah, it's a big difference, first come, first serve and appointment time. Yeah. So who is gonna yeah, so set? Says, so who is gonna set that appointment? The shipper from Pasco after they load us? I believe so. That's the way it's reading. Uh, who is the receiver? Who is the receiver in California? What's the name of the receiver? Oh, hold on a second. Okay. It's Grimway Farms to Grimway. So I mean, it's the same company. Okay. And how much so are you I'm paying? I'm sure the driver could tell them when he could be there. And how much are you paying? I have, uh, it looks like $24.50 right now. $24.50. Wow, we received already the same phone call for the same commodities, and they were $29. My lowest would be $3,200. Wow. Okay. Yeah. To be honest with you, I've only got $25 in it, so I can't, I can't touch that at all. But if somebody else has that much more money, I'm not going to try to talk you out of it. Okay, of course. Sounds good. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. What are we talking about? Same commodities, remember? She said that we were picking up in Oregon. The map was showing you to go through here. 
Now, same commodities, palletized carrots. What other details? First come, first serve. When you start really asking first come, first serve, he start reading you. Taras, how many times they not finish reading the notes and they tell you first come, first serve? So yeah. do, do you understand, Jose, why a lot of times as a dispatcher, they tell us first come, first serve because they, we don't see their screen and they are actually not finishing the reading the notes or they are doing it on purpose because first come, first serve and by appointment and now it's two different things. Would I like to get loaded first, Jose, and then find out where is my appointment? No. No. What do we call this? That's for dispatching. Yes. So sounds really good, even if he gives the money. Secondary, now we have leverage. We have the same girl who said that he can go what? She can go to what? 28 already, mm -hmm. right? 28. Same commodities, everything the same. Uh, I got a quick then one then what are you going to do? Then, Taras, what are we going to do? We're going to receive rate confirmation. And we're, we're not going to sign it until and we read it. We, and we're not going to sign until what? Until you're going to Google. You're going to go and see who is this farm who is receiving. Read there. And if you see, oh, my God, it's by appointment only. It's strict. It's impossible. Then you go back and say, guys, you know what? This facility, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it until you're going to give me exactly. And then sometimes you have to do what? Jose, call and verify, guys. Are you busy? Because sometimes even with a phone call, they're going to say, yeah, you have appointment, but we are extremely busy. A lot of times they will give you that information. But can you do it after you get loaded? No. Nope. This is a part of the job. When we're talking about Florida, I want you to remember Publix. Publix and McLean are going to be two worst receivers in Florida and Georgia. Wow. Right? Oh. Rocking. Let's write it down right now so because we're finishing class today. So let's write it down. So for tracking, we have New York permit, Kentucky, oh. New Mexico, and Oregon. Right. Those are four states. You cannot mm -hmm. enter if your company and truck does not have a permit. Richland, um, Richland, Washington, right? Two, what was Alabama? Uh, Geneva. Geneva, Alabama. Geneva, Alabama. Geneva, Alabama. So let's see. 81, right? I'm almost there. So that's why I told him 87, right? Is he talking to us? Dispatch. Hey man, uh, we can do for eighty-seven. You can do for eighty-seven. Okay, let yeah. me, let me double check with my driver, and I call you right back. Is this your direct number? Okay. Yeah, it's my direct number, uh, extension nine five five. And you for sure have confirm appointment with Cisco. Uh, yeah. On Tuesday. On Tuesday at nine a.m. Nine a.m. Able to do that until Tuesday. Yes, and what is your name? My name is Ben. My real name is Branislav, but you can call me Ben. Branislav. Okay, Branislav. Let's go by yeah. the real name. My name is Alex, and my real name is Alex, too. Nice to meet you, Branislav. So I'm going to ask my driver about that minus 10 degrees because he's an owner operator. So let me make sure that he feels comfortable to go to Alabama with minus 10, and I'll call you right back. Okay. Okay, thank you. What? Well, I think I should start booking lots on Saturday. <laughs> yeah, you should. <laughs> you should. But, um, guys, what did it took us? One minute. Did I ask him? He said, what, 76? Or so? Did I give him 1,000? Did I did him 82? I already kind of know my numbers because I know the numbers, right? You, not bad Tuesday, but let's go back. Is that realistic transit? So today is Saturday. He said 2 p.m., right? Today is Saturday. We have, we have 25 miles. So let's see. Hopefully he is fresh on ours today, right? We don't have to do restart. So we're going to uh, load at 2 o'clock. We... It's not, I was calculating. It's not possible. You're going to, if you split it on three days, it's going to be 855 miles. So today he's going to probably get somewhere to voice it. So 300 miles. So let's divide uh, by, because it's a late pickup. So minus, let's even say 400 miles. So we're going to have 2,100 left on Saturday, 650. 
on Monday, six, how can he legally make it here? So in this case, Agnieszka, that 8,789 makes sense. And we go into very strict receiver. Says, no, 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 we don't have this. No, because we have the problem later like with the receiver. And, you so know. what happened? What happened? We are probably recovering truck, right? So somebody was supposed to pick up this yesterday, right? Because Cisco already had appointment. So we are recovering truck. That's why he's willing to pay. But we're going no, to be but we're going to be punishing ourselves because we cannot really make the trade unless we're going to be faking logbook or we have a team, right? This, guys, if you ever going to go shopping today, tomorrow, I want you to get uh, flex. Like, go to any store for the kids and they have little red flags, yellow flags, and a green flag. This is my advice. <laughs> Put two cups in front of you. Put two cups in front of you. So it's seriously, I, I'll, I'll tell that to all my dispatchers who want to become good. When you talk to him, right? Because it's really easy that you're going to forget. Okay, he told you minus 10 degrees. Taras, which color flag are you going to pick? Red. Red, put red. Then he told you, well, they can receive you on Tuesday. You look at the transit. Which color flag are you going to put? Red. red. Wow. Then you look at his rating, A, B, and he C. Which color? Yellow. So what is green about this transit? that he gave you 8,700? Yeah. Not really, not for minus 10 and not possible. So when you don't see even one green flag, this is means nonsense, but that's how you can practice of logically thinking that when they talk to you, seriously, I'm, I, I mean, I, I made this up, but I think it helps. All my girls, if you, if you talk to all my girls, they still send me the pictures of their cops with those flags. And they're like, it's the best thing that ever happened because now, just listening, aha, uh -huh, nonsense, boom, boom. And then visually they see, well, this is, doesn't sound that good now, right? It's not better than IFTA classes. Some of you I will see in safety classes. Hopefully you enjoy the class. I'm not asking for much, but I would like to receive review, honest review, right? Thank you, honest Alex. You Thank you. Keep Thank watching you. the Monday lives, keep watching all the videos and, you know, just, just reach out when you. Well, let's look at the different things you guys going to do as a dispatcher. You're going to be in charge of re getting a revised rate confirmation, right? And it can be due to different things that happen due to transit. Maybe you were compensated for detention, for layover. Maybe you get in reimbursement for washout, fuel surcharge tolls maybe you paid for lumper maybe your driver was assisting you need to make sure that you receive rate revised rate confirmation if they put their own rate if they put their own address if they assign this load to their own carrier all of those th things are the part of your job in the end of the day the good dispatcher are able to coordinate schedules manage the routes and he can handle the request from owner operators, company drivers. He can manage the request from the brokers for maybe updates, for check-ins. He is negotiating all this. And you as times dispatcher can change the plan, but the plan has to be backed up by what? But something which is going to be good for your carrier. Thinking quickly and making the good decisions is going to make you a good dispatcher. What other abilities does dispatcher need to know? Well, we need to identify special shipment needs, right? So we need to know our equipment. We have to know what trailers do we have? How much can we scale? What commodity is not included from our coverage? So again, once uh, once and for all, you have to understand, dispatcher, it's not only about posting truck for the load boards. And of course, in our class, we are covering lots and lots of different subjects. We are doing a lot of different things, lots of homework. And again, our classes are intense. They are for serious people only. You're not going to be wasting your time. You're not going to be wasting your money but you're going to be putting a lots of effort and you're going to be becoming successful dispatcher. Sign up for my classes and I'll see you soon. 
please do not hesitate to reach out. We are here to help you. And together, we can switch this industry for better.